So hey bird buds, um, today um, on Veggies for Dummies, I wanted to talk to you about the number one most asked question, which is, how do you tell if they're male or female? So, I'm going to kind of show you, I actually let some of my girls out today to play, and that's why you see her kind of on the outside of the cage. I'm going to see if we can get up here. She thinks she's going to camera shy. I'm going to try to get up where I can really show you up close her face. So you can see that she has a, a very light sear. The sear is the area above the beak that many would call the nose where there would be little two holes. And um, so hers is white. So in a female, there's going to be either white or beige. And they will get either very white or very beige, kind of crusty, when they are um, ready to breed. And then I'm going to drop down a little bit here because I have a really good looking dude here. Um, and if he will cooperate, he is very camera shy all the time. So if he will turn face up for us, you're going to see that he has a really blue sear. So there's two things. He's a mature male. Um, his, uh, his sear is very, very blue, almost violet. So this is another color for the males that um, will show you that they are a male. So I'm going to try to come out here. I actually have a lot of boys over here. And if they will just cooperate. Hi, babies. Hi, they get very camera shy. It's hilarious that they run. They act like me. So, you can see he has a blue sear. This guy here has blue gray, and very gray because he is a gray body. So, a lot of times it'll somewhat match whatever the coloring is, but not always. Let me see if this little guy will turn around. Because he has a little bit lighter color sear that's more um, pinky purpley. Let's see here. I just don't want to put the camera in there. Um, these guys are quite my nibblers. So that's why I really don't want to put my hand in there for them out, but I will if I need to. But I kind of wanted to show you, there we go. So if you can see, very, very blue, violet colored seal. So obviously that's the easiest one. These guys are all mature. They are about mm, between five and eight months old. So their sears have gotten really nice and dark. And as you can tell, the seeds are just starting to get ready to breed. Each one is different. Um, I We don't like for them to breed until they are right at about a year old because they make better parents. It's not that they are not capable of breeding themselves like the physical part. It's about being mature enough to take care of the babies. So, um, there are a couple of boys for you. Um, a younger little male. He was born in September. He was hatched in September. Um, and as you can see, he has more of kind of, um, he's getting his coloring, but it still has kind of that pinkish hue to it. And I'll pull him out in a sec because he's a little friendly. This lady here, she is a Texas clear body. There we go. And you see, she actually has kind of almost a little blue coloring to it, but she is in fact female. You can tell by the whiteness of it. The reason that that blue is popping through is because of her um, genetic mutation, but it's still light. It's not going to be dark. She's fully matured and she is um, for sure female. So that gives you an idea. So even depending on the mutations will cause um, their seer to be very different. So even in my um, Latinos, albinos, nainos, they um, have a very, very light seer and sometimes can be hard to determine. Uh, this is a good example here. So the blue, yeah, this is Blossom. Look at you, handsome, pretty baby. Oh, you're showing off and putting your feathers up. Look, he's handsome. Look at you, so handsome. 
So Blossom is the blue female. You can see her skin is very light, but it's still um, a little darker than when she's not in season, so to speak, because um, she actually has babies right now. And then he is very clearly got his very deep blue here. So this is a really up close um, example of them. And then when they're babies, the, the coloring is just a little bit different. We have three little babies right here right now. Um, as you can see, um, we have an age difference. They're actually all from the same clutch. And I wanted to show you specifically their fear. So sorry, I'm gonna just try to um, bring it in here a little bit. I'm trying to keep it where they don't get frightened. So um, the sear is the part above the beak. Hi, you touched me. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Huh. That is the part above the beak, what you some people might call a nose. And the sear is C-E-R-E. -E. Oh, and we just had a fly away. And I'll get him in just a minute. Um, I want to show you um, kind of the differences of them. So this is a little girl. Come here, sweetness. Come here. She is actually a Latino. And Latino means um, the same as like albino, but um, it's from a green. So all of the green is suppressed. So only the yellow is present. And she's gonna have red eyes. So I'm gonna actually try to get her up here. She is still a little nervous. Yes, come here. I'm gonna pull her up so you can see real close. So as you can see, she has red eyes. Red eyes and um, a very light colored sear um, that shows that she is a female. Um, it's gonna be um, either ultimately will turn either very white or in her case I'm, I'm thinking she's going to be actually a little beige color so but she is a Lutino and so the, the proper term is L-U-T-I-N-O um, which um, also can be called an Eno which Eno just means that um, their color is suppressed so and look at her she's so pretty yeah, look at you, so pretty. Please excuse my nails, they're a mess right now. I've been up here cleaning. Look at you, you showing off? Are you showing off? Guys, you're being very loud. So she is um, from the same clutch as I have another baby sitting here that you can't really see. I'm gonna see if I can get her to step up. There you go, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We're working on it. We're working on stepping up. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to pull this little baby hiding here. Come here. Come here. This is the youngest of this clutch. So, as you can see, the sear on it. Come here. Oh, come here, pumpkin. There you go. Come here, pumpkin. Come here, pumpkin. We're very nervous. Very, very nervous. Come here. You don't want to be on camera? Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. So the, the sear in this case is very um, pink and brown, and so it is still very hard to determine at this age, because this one is the youngest by about a week, and I tell you, a week in bird uh, hatching is huge difference. As you can see, the size difference of them, and this little one is just running around. Hi, pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. Um, so it makes a big difference on how to determine their, their um, male, male or female. And some people really can tell right off the bat, but um, I tend to err a little bit on the side of caution because they, um, they, they tricked me a time or two. 
Yeah. At this age. These are all late November babies and we're in mid-December. So um, we should start to be ready for home here in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks to maybe four weeks, depending on each one. And when they're ready and when they're weaned. So, um, but this shows you kind of that age group of this year. And so I hope this helped everybody to uh, learn a little bit more about how to determine the sex of your budgie. And um, if you will make sure you subscribe, we will um, have more videos for you coming up shortly. Thanks and have a great day.